Okay, we have Marianne Bronson here. Many of you guys have seen her in my social media. She's one of my superstars. And Marianne came to me in May, right after her vacation in Hawaii, and she was ready to get started. So Marianne, tell us, why did you contact me? So Christy, I contacted you initially because I wanted to um, have you help me with endurance events. I've been looking for a long time for somebody that um, doesn't have a cookie cutter program. I needed somebody that was gonna individualize the program for just me. So I do these big, long, crazy performance, endurance events, and um, I needed to help in the nutrition and recovery. I've always done really well in my performance, but then I felt like crap for a few days after. And that's, as I'm growing older, I don't wanna feel like crap anymore. You're growing so, older? How old are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm 53. I know I don't look it or act no, it or no, feel no. like it, but as I, I just thought this season, I wanted to be able to um, feel good when I got done with an event, not go home and have to take a big long nap or something after. Um, so I had been watching for a really long time, um, looking at different trainers, looking at different um, coaches, and was, I guess, stalking you for quite a <laughs> while and, and thought, thought that you would be a good fit for my needs. And you have been, you've been a really good fit for what I've needed. So when I first um, hooked up with you, my goals were um, nutrition for events. So performance nutrition and not necessarily leaning out. I mean, you were already lean. She was 15% body fat when she started with me. <laughs> yeah, performance nutrition, not mm -hmm. necessarily to lean out, but that has been a huge perk as we've um, gone through the last five months together. Um, the weight training and the nutrition has, has made me faster, stronger, leaner. I feel better, I sleep better. Um, I'm eating clean. I don't really crave, have the cravings for the junk that I used to have. Um, so it's just all around a plus. Awesome. So you've been doing races and stuff for quite a while. I think it's been like eight years or so. Yes. And always been successful, but you needed somebody to crack the code for you so that you can feel good and continue to keep um, doing the performance events that you're doing. Okay, right. so it's not always butterflies and rainbows, right? <laughs> Wish it was. <laughs> it appears to be sometimes, but I'm sure you came across struggles and obstacles, which I know about, but can you share with us some of those things that you encountered? Definitely. So that's one thing that I really want to share with the people that are going to watch this is that um, I've known from the very beginning that if I want to be successful, that it's up to me to be successful, that I have to put in the work. And I write down my goals and I stick them on the mirror in my bathroom. I stick them on my computer at work and I focus on my goals. Um, I haven't had the time. Time was a definite struggle for me. Do you work full time, right? I do work full time and I have a very demanding job. So running, um, as we've posted throughout this, this running season has been very important to me and my, uh, my running events have been important. There's been several days my alarm's gone off at three o'clock and I'm on the road at 3.30. Oh and I know a lot of people think that that's crazy, but to me, that was important. Getting my miles in, getting my training in, it has been very important. So mm -hmm. that was one of the struggles that I had was um, having enough time in my day to get everything in that I needed to do. And so um, I often had two a days. I, um, for the triathlon events, I would run in the morning and then I would ride or, or swim in, or lift in the evening. Um, so that was, that's been one of my struggles. That is so true. And it's definitely said that you have structure in your system and you know that you need to get up and you need to do it or else it's not gonna get done. Um, another struggle that I know you came across is your foot and your shin, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I fell um, in the summer and had an injury on my leg that ended up infected and I had a blood infection. And um, it, it really has been kind of wonky, but it was that was a struggle that I had to overcome and I've been determined to work through it and do what the doctors have said, but yet um, still find a way to get my cardio in and my training in so that I could perform the way I've wanted to perform. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And what happened with your foot when you couldn't run for a while? What did we decide to do for cardio instead? So I um, did Stairmaster, the rowing machine. Um, I couldn't run, so I did a lot of biking. Just found other ways to get my cardio in. Yep. Just worked around it. Excellent. Okay, and then my next question is, um, what kind of support did you get in this process? So, Christy's been amazing. She's an amazing support. Um, she's a cheerleader on the sidelines, and that's been something that I've really appreciated. I have an amazing husband that supports me. Um, he is my rock. 
And I think those of you that follow me see the things that I post about him because he is right there. And there's times that um, I'm human and I get tired in the middle of an event. You're human? And, <laughs> <laughs> and when I get tired, knowing that he's at the finish line watching for me, waiting for me, that kind of just keeps me going. I have an amazing team at work that um, they are always asking what I'm doing and what my next event is. And they always um, will send text messages or uh, shout outs the day of my event, wondering how I've, how I've done, um, if I was successful, they know what my goals are and um, they're a good support too. And then I have some awesome kids and grandkids that are supportive as well. That's great. It's always important to have a support system because like you said, you are human and sometimes just having that support, knowing that people are there behind you cheering you on, you're doing it more than just for yourself, right? Right. All right. So what are some of the things that you learned through this program? So through the program, I've learned that um, health and nutrition is very important and staying on track is if, I, if you want to be successful, you've got to stay on track, but it's okay if you fall off for a day or a meal then you just um, you gotta catch yourself you soon, just, right? And <laughs> just um, step back up. And um, if you have a bad day, then there's always tomorrow. Or if you have a if you have a bad meal, then there's always the next meal. Um, exactly. For me, I track everything. I I watch everything I do. I plan things out. For me, that works. And I know that, that isn't what works for everybody. That's been my success. And um, I'm very comfortable with my body the way it is. And feel really I'm really happy at the end of this part of my journey to move into the next part of my journey um, so what I learned I learned how to macro count I learned um, what my ratios are and what works for me and how to increase on heavy days and decrease on light days I um, have learned that weight training is critical to leaning out I was just telling Christy um, I never really thought that leg training was important because I get enough uh, cardio, I, or so I thought. And now I'm seeing differences in my legs that I'd never seen before, and that's because of the program, the leg program that she has me on. I feel like I'm just stronger than I've ever been. I think that you are doing an amazing job. You came to me already eating pretty healthy, but you had yogurt a few times a day, and you know, you're just kind of doing what you always knew, and you've taken this knowledge now, and you're empowered to not only First starting with the meal plan that we did for about three to four months and now you're moving on to tracking on your own. Um, you can almost create meal plans for other people, you're so great at it now. Um, but I'm super proud of you, you've been an ideal client from day one, just 100% commitment, 100% mindset. Um, and that just contributes to my program and what I can provide and the support for you. So I'm very, very proud of you and I'm excited to share your story with everybody. Thank you.